Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been uh, moving WordPress from one host to a new host. And we've got a few videos on here, and we'll add in some more. And we talk about importing and export, exporting and importing new database, moving your files to the new host. And once you have everything moved in place, you need to change the configuration file. This is the one that tells uh, where they can find the, it connects the database to your files. And so it's important, and those things have changed when you move to a new host. So we need to go ahead and do this. I'd already shown you, using FileZilla, how you can find your config file. That'd be sitting here in your um, folder with the other ones. you got the admin, the content, but you go on down to you can find the WP config. And that's the one we're going to edit. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you one here. And I've kind of changed the settings from what they were. But... Um, you can see the ask for your database name, your database user, and your database password. Now those are the things that you saved. Now what goes here depends on your host and what they use. Um, HostGator, I believe most of the time uses just local host. That's all you need there. If you're using IX or some other one, they might want you to put a um, the name for the local host. So whichever it is, um, if you're not sure what to use there, if local host doesn't work, contact your hosting service and they'll let you know what to put in there. Okay, we saved the database name and the, these things from before and we're going to go ahead and, and put them in here. Okay, I've put the uh, names back in there. This is the new database name and this is the uh, new database username and the uh, new password. Now, sometimes you got to be careful. There should be like a uh, single quote here, a single quote here that goes on either side of each of these. If Sometimes I'll type it in and I'll just put them both on one side or the other and i got to go back and correct that. Because you have to put everything in there just right or it won't work. When you go to back to your site after getting everything moved and changed over, it's going to say something like a database error. And usually the database error is because something was not set up right in this WP config file. I'm looking back at the site and the information and I miss picking up the first letter here and the first uh, thing in the password here. So you might want to always go in and double check and make sure all your information is correct. Once it's correct, you want to go ahead and save it and um, it'll save onto your, um, like if you're saving it, you've got it from so they'll go ahead and save it there for you. Or you can actually save it in your um, if you go into the file manager and editing there, same thing, you just want to save it. And now you've got your uh, WP config file set up, ready to go.